Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang properties of diagonals of rectangle. Ano nga ba ang rectangle? For example, we have this rectangle ABCD. Papangalanan natin tong ABCD. Papangalanan natin siya gamit yung mga points. Okay, so meron siyang apat na sides. And opposite sides are equal. Meaning, kapag yung line AB is 20 cm, yung line DC is also 20 cm. Kapag yung line AD ay 15 cm, yung line BC ay 15 cm din. Let's put a diagonal inside the rectangle. So, ilang diagonal sila lagay natin? Maglagay na lang tayo ng dalawa. So, yung dalawang diagonal na yun ay congruent sa isa't isa. So, ano yung dalawang diagonal na yun? We have line AC and line BD. And line AC is congruent to line BD. Meaning, kapag yung line AC ay 10, yung measurement ng line AC ay 10, yung measurement ng line BD is also 10. Let's have an example. For example, let's find the measures of angles 1, 2, and 3. And find the length of DA and AC. Ay, saan yung mga given? So, we have, ito, 29 degrees. And then, yung Line BD is 12. Okay, so hanapin muna natin yung mga angles. So, angle 1, ito. Hanap so, ano kaya ang measurement ng angle na yan? So, itong buong angle A, actually lahat to, this is 90 degrees. So, paano natin hanapin yung measurement ng, ng angle 1? So, that is 90 degrees, then itong isa, Yung kahati niya, given na which is 29. So, minus lang natin. So, angle A is equal to 90 degrees minus 29 degrees. And that is equal to 61 degrees. So, therefore, angle A is 61 degrees. So, yan yung sagot. How about angle 2? Okay, so, kung 29 degrees to, equal siya dito. So, ito ay also 29 degrees. Din ito, 61 degrees din. Okay, how about angle 3? This is 61 degrees. Paano yung 61 degrees? Kasi opposite angles are equal. So, itong 61, opposite niya dito. 29, opposite nyo dito. So, dito, 29 din to. Ito, 29. Ito, 61. Next, yung line. So, line BE is 12. So, what is line DE? It is also 12. Bakit? Kasi equal yung dalawa yan. Dalawang yan. And line AC, so ito buong line na to. So, li itong line BD ay equal sa line AC. So, just add 12 plus 12 and that is 24. So, line AC is equal to 24. Next, line DE is equal to 5x plus 2. And BE is equal to 3x plus 20. Find AC. Okay, so yung, yung line DE daw, asan yan? Ito yan. So ito ay 5x plus, 2, 5x plus 2. And BE, ito yan, that is 3x plus 20. What is line AC? So, una, hanapin muna natin yung value ng x. So, dahil equal yung dalawang yan, that is 5x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 20. So, pagsamayan natin sila yung magkasama. So, 5x, yung 3x, pag nilipat mo, magiging negative 3x. And that is equal to 20. Yung 2x, pag nilipat mo, magiging negative 2. 2 lang pala. Okay, then, 5x minus 3x, that is 2x. Is equal to 20 minus 2, that is 18. Okay, may kasama pa yung x, so divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So, x is equal to 9. Okay, so, hanapin natin yung isang line. 
ito is 5x plus 2. Yun na lang. So, 5x plus 2. Substitute natin yung value ng x. So, that is 5 times 9. Yung nakuha natin value. Plus 2. And that is equal to 5 times 9. That is 45 plus 2. And 45 plus 2 is 47. So, therefore, itong line DE is 47. And itong line EB is 47 then. Kung gusto nyo i-check, i-substitute nyo lang yung value ng x sa, 47, sa 9. Okay? So, what is line AC? So, just add 47 and 47. So, 47 plus 47 is equal to 94. So, line AC is 94. If AC is equal to 4x plus 4 and BD is equal to 3x plus 2, find X. Okay, so AC daw is 4x plus 4. So, ito yun. And BD is 3x plus 2. At yung dalawang yan ay equal. So, ang hanapin lang natin is X. So, this 4X plus 4 is equal to 3x plus 12. Okay, so combining like terms, itong 4x, i-combine mo sa 3x. So 3x, pag nilipat mo, magiging negative 3x. is equal to 12. Itong 4, pag nilipat mo, magiging negative 4. 4x minus 3x, that is x. And that is equal to 12 minus 4, that is 8. So, x is equal to 8. So, ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe. At pinutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.